What's going on everybody? This is Maximilian. The Super Bowl is over and that finally means I can get back to things that are really important. Because, I mean, nobody wanted the Giants or Patriots to win anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. So, if you recall, we need to beat Karn. However, his deck is insanely overpowered and as such we need to uh, tech against it, if you will. So, we're going to hop into deck manager for just a brief little moment. And see what kind of goodies we have to main deck against this guy. Uh, revoke existence. Very yes. Let's see. No, that's not going to help us. That's not going to help. That's not going to help either. Basically, revoke existence is the only thing we actually have that can help us in this matchup. The real question, though, is what can I take out without damaging my chances? I need to leave anything in here that will act as removal or maybe even like a temporary tapping effect like uh, Core Hookmaster or um, Gideon's Law Keeper. Absolutely have to keep those in. However, I don't want to get rid of so many cards in my deck that I just lose the ability to have an aggro edge. See, right now I have 63, so I want to cut three. I'm thinking Brave the Elements is probably one that we can get away with because... Uh, mostly Karn deals with artifacts, and that doesn't work against artifacts because colorless is not a color. Sad thing, I know. I wish I could pick it too, but sadly you can't. It's an illegal choice. Uh, let's see. Um, we could... We could get rid of... Uh, I'm thinking a core outfitter might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's get rid of a core outfitter. And... Let's see. Oh, now I have 60. How did that happen? I don't know. How did that happen? I could have sworn that said 63, but apparently I was wrong. All right, good enough. Let's save the changes. So, in all likelihood, this is going to take me several attempts to actually beat Karn, depending on how nutty his draws are, that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is, since this is going to take, in all likelihood, a couple of tries... We're going to do a little bit of a road to Karn here. I'm just going to record every single game I have rather than redoing the commentary over and over again because that could just get tedious. So yeah, you are going to see every attempt I have against Karn. Hopefully we'll beat him on the first time. This is in fact the first time. I promise I have not started re-recording at all. Not once. Nope. Totally being honest here. Doesn't sound like it at all. I know it doesn't. But really, this is the first game I've played against Karn. Just for you guys. Yeah. Because you are awesome. And you deserve the best. Only the best for my subscribers. Oh, mm, 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 man. Well, the only thing that I do not like about this hand is the fact that we don't really have anything to curve into. Like, Sword of War and Peace is kind of cool and all, but like, I'd rather have actual removal. Gideon's Law Keeper is a nice place to start. Uh, I think just because he's in there, I'm going to keep it, because I really don't know what Karn has aside from the combo. And Gideon's Law Keeper is one of the only cards in our deck that is an actual uh, ploy... Or not a ploy, whatever. I forget what the word is. But it is one of the few ways you can actually directly combat his combo. So I'm going to keep it. We're going to gamble here. Because I'm a gambling fiend. Or at least I will be in like, uh, what is it now, six, five more days? Yeah, that's right. For the, for the record, I am turning 21 on February 10th, and I am totally hitting up the casino. Yeah, it's going to be fun. What is this? Okay, that's a bobble. I don't really care. But as to be expected, he's playing mono blue with artifacts. Ha <laughs> There it is, the Mox Sapphire. So yeah, you notice how it's got that little blue symbol in there, and it... It's an artifact? Yeah, this is basically a free island, so it doesn't count towards your land total. It's stupid. It is so stupid. Oh, nice! And I have a rest. Okay, now I don't really have to worry as much. I'm totally gonna... Let's see, he doesn't have anything with haste that I'm aware of, so I can safely attack with Lawkeeper this turn. I'm gonna get any damage into Karn while I can, because I know how quickly he can combo off, and I'm just not taking any chances. Even if it is just one measly damage. Gotta be aggro against Karn, because he just gets mana way too quickly in this deck. 
Now, normally a card like Mox Sapphire is actually restricted. You can only have one copy of that card in your deck, and that's only if you're playing Vintage, which is the only format that allows that card to be played. But Karn's deck has four of them, because, you know, he's a cheaty face, and... Oh my god, I love you, deck! I love you so very much! Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah! Finally, I get God Draws against the King of God Draws. Alright, let's get in there. Man, I have Law Keeper, Arrest, and Revoke Existence. Oh, this is just like, the heavens are aligning. I don't th can't think of any other way to describe this. That's basically what's going on here in a nutshell. You probably aren't as amazed by it as I am, but I mean, I'm just overjoyed right now. And there's a second one. Jeez, Karn. Chill out. What? Yeah. That's not cool. That is not cool. Okay. Well. Yeah. Saw that coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. My one drops don't really mean anything anymore, but then again, that could be said of anything in my deck. Uh, all the one drops are kind of irrelevant in this matchup. And once that thing's a 2-2, two -two, like, it's just not worth a removal spell now. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to wait for something much more relevant to hit. How much you want to bet he tinkers one of those uh, mock sapphires right here? How much you want to bet? It's going to go tinker... Darksteel Colossus. Come on, Karn. You can do it. Well, first he's going to get in for two, obviously, because I can't block. Let's see it. Another bobble. I don't get it. What's the deal? I mean, you can have all the land you want. I don't care. But if you're not going to play anything relevant, it's fine by me. Oh, man. Bad Super Bowl food. Super Bowl food is bad. Let's see, he can play that as an instant. I wonder if he's actually smart enough to do that with an equip trigger on the stack. Because I really don't want to revoke existence that. I want to see if I can just bait him out. Let's see if he'll do it. How good are you, Karn? Oh, he's good! Okay, so Karn is not as dumb as I thought. Now, were this an actual opponent in a real game, I would never, ever attempt to do that. But in this case, I wanted to experiment a little, because if I fail here, it's not that big of a deal. Whoa, Colossus of Sardia. Jeez, he's got fatties in that deck. But yeah, lesson for all you people who are aspiring to get better at magic and or already know how to play the game, you definitely know that's not a good thing to do. Don't ever do that. That's bad. That's what we call being a bad kid. Yeah. Wow, he's just at the point where he can hard cast it. And this is why we save these removal spells. Ah, uh, ooh, our Genom Armor. It's actually slightly relevant. Um, I would like to arrest this guy. Because I'm pretty sure he's worthless once he's arrested. I don't know if Karn has any kind of, like, bounce spells, but... I don't think he could really do anything to that arrest. Pretty sure we're okay. And if he happened to have, if he happens to have something for it, well then we're just taking ten damage. Looks like we're not. We're just taking one. Okay. A Triskelion is just not nearly as relevant right now that it's a one-one. Okay. Yay! More cards that don't do anything. Now, Deck, you were behaving so nicely just about five minutes ago. Surely, surely you can keep up the pace. I mean, even a land would be fantastic, and I can cast that Argenum armor. You know, you know what I'm feeling, right? Everyone, like, I don't know, cross your fingers or something. Don't say anything about the heart of the cards, though, because then you'll mess it up. Magic decks do not like when people invoke the heart of the cards. Okay, whatever. Voltaic Key. I mean, that's what he would be using to untap his Colossus of Sardia, if it mattered. 
Fortunately, it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Sunspear Shikari. I can actually get in with that and stop his stupid Triskelion from attacking. Let's see. We got here. That's equip four. So I can't equip the pen and blade yet. But I can equip that Sword of War and Peace. Not that it really matters, it just gives me something like an extra buff and triggered abilities if I deal damage to him. But whatever. Might as well use the mana because I got nothing better to do with it right now. Karn's just ripping land like a champ over there. And a third Mox Sapphire. Yeah, you can have that mana. Man, he's got like infinite mana at his disposal right now and nothing to do with it. Poor Karn. Nah, he's not. Nah. I don't feel any sympathy at all for him. None at all. Alright, I'm going to tap that dude and I'm going to get in for some beats. It's a shame that Karn has no cards in his hand so I can't do extra damage from a Sword of War and Peace trigger. Alright. Attack step. Boom. Lifelink and I get the Sword of War and Peace trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, does it really matter, but okay. You can untap it. And Karn Grips land again, yes. This is the recipe here to beat Karn. Yes! And now we can cast our Genom Armor. Boom! Children, we might actually win the first time. We just might win. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or anything, but, you know, it's a very real possibility at this point. We are halfway there. Provided Karn just doesn't do something stupid right here. Like, play duplicate. That's annoying. Oh, bugger! And this is why we have Revoke Existence! Yes! Actually, he has no cards in hand. We could... Actually, you know what? We've won the game. We have won the game. Watch this. Activate my equipment. Put it on the Shikari. Attack step. Let's poke your duplicate. Yeah, baby! Beat that Karn! Beat that Karn! Yeah! It's like winning the Super Bowl, but not really. Oh, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Only took me one try. And to think, I was getting ready for the long haul here. Jeez. Like, well, it's, it's a lot more fair when he doesn't go turn one island, mox, mox, tinker, darksteel, colossus. Like, that's just unfair. But, I mean, like, that is still pretty unfair. Let's be realistic here. It's Karn. Yeah! Revenge campaign! You know what this means? More Duels of the Planeswalker videos, although I can imagine that since this is called Revenge, it's probably gonna be a little harder. And what do you know? Maybe I'll use a different deck, who knows? Actually, it might be a good idea. We'll use a different deck this time. Make it a little more interesting. I'm pretty sure y'all are sick of seeing me play with a uh, white deck by now. Maybe you'd like to see a change of pace. So I'll tell you what. Leave a comment on this video and let me know whose deck you'd like to see for the next run through. The Revenge campaign, so to speak. I'll leave that up to you guys. Until then, this is Maximilian. Thanks for watching. See you later.